Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we're going to be going over some of the history behind one of my favorite collections of Mr. Kowski's Play the Piano Drunk Like a Percussion Instrument Until the Fingers Begin to Bleed a Bit. Really, really cool looking book here. I'm, I've never been 100% on the use of the red font on top of this, or at least the way the font looks. Because you can't really read it. You have to really get in there and look at it. But it's that whole, um, oh, I almost had the word, it's like that 1920s, um, oh, I always forget the terminology for that look. I, I can't remember. Anyway, so here we go. Um, this one is really fun. Um, and this one is dedicated to Linda Lee Bailey, the best. The acknowledgments in this one, where some of these poems had been published before, appeared in Blitz, The Goodly Company, Hearse, Midwest, Ontario Review, The Other, Target, and Wormwood Review. Thanks also to Capra Press, for which originally published some of these poems as a chapbook called Fire Station. So, yes, here we are. This was released in 19... Was it 78 originally? This um, is the first Echo Edition from 2003. But let's see. This was published in 79. But the story of this, as we've been going through his life, um, we're in 1978 right now. Okay, so again, thanks to Bukowski.net for giving all of this wonderful information. So in 1978, um, the monthly income Bukowski was getting from Black Sparrow Press is about 500 bucks. And if we're going to do our inflation calculator, so he was getting in today's money about 2,300 bucks a month from Black Sparrow. That's fucking crazy, dude. That's so fucking crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, in 78 also was his first trip to Europe for a reading in Hamburg, Germany. And now this Hamburg, Germany reading, this is going to come up a lot because a lot of things were made out of that Hamburg, Germany reading. And he finally meets his uncle Heinrich, who if you like are familiar with like his books of letters and stuff like that he was writing to a lot before this and um, now he finally got to meet him now this is one of the things that we are going to hit here that is one of the moments that kind of solidified him for his attitude and the persona of Bukowski but in October of 78 he travels to France and appears on and then walks off of the popular arts program, Apostrophe. Now, this is, and if you haven't seen clips of this, go back and look at it. But he basically was nervous as all hell. And he went there because he was having books do well overseas and they wanted him to come and do some shit for it and he was there with um, a few other people for this like discussion show and he had this earpiece in that would like translate what other people were saying and he was nervous and so he was drinking and he said some horrible things and somebody like yelled at him and then the host tried to like cover his mouth and he got pissed off and he just fucking got up and left. Um, rumor has it that afterwards he tried to um, stab some of the security guards in the back, but they just threw them out. But what this did, because of how conservative the French art scene was at the time, made him a legend in France. And all these people thought he really stuck it to them. And I guess all the newspapers the next day, 
this was like the biggest news. Like it was like front page news that this guy is like, you guys are all fucking idiots. I'm out of here. And um, just him being embarrassed and drunk made him out to be this like anti-establishment, like anti-hero basically to like everybody. Um, Anyway, so You Kissed Lily came out as a standalone and that is an amazing story. And I think the Lily that he's talking about, she's brought up in the book Women. If I'm not mistaken, the real Lily that all this was based on is the one where she had to kind of buck teeth, but she had this beautiful mouth and he just wanted that mouth. Like, if you, if you know the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Um, Legs, Lips, and Behind, uh, the Wormwood Review number 71, was an all Bukowski issue. We'll Take Them was Sparrow 72, which I guess, again, is a broadside series. I don't know. Um, and then Women came out on December 15th of 1978. Now, this is where things get interesting. So, in October of 78, Bukowski buys the house in San Pedro for $80,000, which according to the LA Times the next year said the price was $120,000. But let's look at what $80,000 is. Okay, so he bought the house for $80,000, but adjusting for inflation, that would have been $364,000. Okay, which is still way fucking less than you can get a house for in San Pedro now. Like, ridiculously less adjusting for inflation. And even if it was 120,000, let's look at that. It was still under um, five and a half hundred thousand. So, whatever. And he lives at this address longer than any other um, address during his lifetime. He was only making 6000 a year from the Black Sparrow books, which would have been about $28,000 a month or a year. Fucking hell, dude. Foreign royalties were rapidly increasing from about 15075 which again was like $85,000 adjusted, to almost $90,000 a year in 1982 which is $280,000 adjusted, which put him in a tax bracket that prompted his accountant to suggest that buying a house would be a wise financial move. He wrote that he doubled the mortgage payments each month in order to pay the house off in five years, which is brilliant. So back in 78 now, he did a reading at, um, in Milwaukee, at the U of W on April 17th, and then again did the Hamburg, Germany uh, reading on May 18th. This Hamburg, Germany recording, they made a lot of audio versions of this in different forms. So in 1978, they did a record called Hello, It's Good to Be Back. In 2004, the bootleg CD Solid Citizen came out, And then in 2008, the CD, Hello, It's Good to Be Back, was released. And again, um, this is from the reading that we just talked about. Um, So there are a few different versions of this reading. One of my favorite things in it is someone in the crowd yells out and asks him about the Frozen Man, which is something that he talks about, I think, in South of No North, I think. And he he doesn't get into an argument with the guy, but like the guy's like, I don't know if he's heckling him or what. And Bukowski just like doesn't give a fuck, and like totally like makes fun of the dude, and like the crowd's cracking up. Like he was good with his hecklers. So there's that. Okay, so now in 1979, um, Barbe Barbet Barbe Barbet Schroeder pays Bukowski twenty thousand dollars. To begin writing the screenplay, The Rats of Thirst, which would eventually be filmed as Barfly, which starred Mickey Rourke and Faye Dunaway. So $20,000 adjusted is $84,000 in today's money. A love poem 
was Black Sparrow's New Year's Greeting. And then on July 25th, Play the Piano Drunk Like a Percussion Instrument Until the Fingers Begin to Bleed a Bit was released. And then in September, um, City Lights put out Shakespeare Never Did This, which is kind of like his travelogue of going to Germany and all that shit. And we'll probably cover that book when we do the City Lights books. Then in, um, let's see here, what was that? October 12th of 79, Bukowski reads in Vancouver at a place called the Viking Inn. And this was released as a DVD in 2008 called There's Gonna Be a Goddamn Riot in Here. In 79, John Martin expresses concern for Bukowski's image when he buys his first new car, a BMW 320i from a dealership in Hermosa Beach for $16,000, which would today be 67000 Jesus fucking Christ. Though this is not the first time he drove a new car. While married to Barbara Fry, her grandfather bought the money, or bought this car, but bought a new 1957 Plymouth Fury which she left with Bukowski when they divorced. Um, The 1967 Volkswagen Beetle is relegated to the garage here in June once he starts driving the BMW. In August, his Olympia typewriter is in the shop for repairs. So Bukowski buys a used portable typewriter, but complains that it does not have the soul of the Olympia. Now, 1980 happens, and 1980 is a strange year for Bukowski because there are no major events that happen, and he has zero publications of note. He is now living in his new house in San Pedro, driving a BMW, living life well, and in um, April, he gives his final reading at the Sweetwater in Redondo Beach. Now, this reading you can see, he was paid $1,000 on in, on March 31st. Let's see, $1,000 for that, almost four grand. Jesus fucking Christ. So, and he stopped doing readings because he didn't need to do it for the money anymore because he was finally making a really good living off of just writing. But this reading is... Um, called The Last Straw as a DVD put out in 2008. Um, there is an audio recording of this that was released in on record in 85 and then again on CD in 1994 called Hostage. A biography mentions an April reading in Hermosa Beach, which would have been the final reading, but the date is unknown and the reading is unconfirmed. So probably more likely than not, the timetables just got confused because this was March 31st. So like asking anyone, they might've said April, um, which is probably why that is like that. But in 1980, Bukowski Reads' his poetry is released um, on LP as well, but that is from a 1972 reading. Now, this is a neat little thing here. He stops using carbon paper in 1980 and begins using a Xerox machine to make manuscript submission copies. So Bukowski is now officially in the zine world, (laughs) making fucking Xerox photocopies, dude. Hell yeah. Um, In 1980, the LA population reaches 3 million and becomes the second largest city in the country. Um, As of this... um, list being put together it says the la county is home to 7.5 million people actually that might just be la county not la city because i don't even know how many fucking people live in la now maybe i should look that up real quick let me look that up In 2021 it says there are 3.8 million people in la and um, in 2019, there was 3.9 million people. So that's interesting. Either people are living or a lot of people died. Let's see if we have a county number here. Oh, okay. In L.A. County, there's almost 10 million people. Shit. That's a couple. Yeah. So things 
Things grow, things grow, people, things grow. And with that said, we are done with the history and behind the scenes of this slim volume of poetry, which I think is just poems from, is there a title page in here at all? I don't think there is, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't say when these poems were written, but you know, whatever. It says the copyrights in here are from 70, 73, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. All right, well, there you go. There's probably a little bit of everything in here, but mainly this book is from like 78, 79, okay? So we will get on this, so if you are not on any of my membership tiers, um, this will be the last video for this. But if you are a member on any tier level, um, we're gonna be doing weekly videos about this book. But this book is so thin, this might just be one more video. And then we will go into um, dangling in the Tort Futrina, however you say that tree. Um, that was released in 81, I think. So that's the next book we will do after this one, okay? So click the join button, join at any tier, and um, I will be reading some poems out of here for you all shortly. So make sure you pick up Bloodshed Review, issue three, and my latest chapbook, if I could get it, On the Beach out now a new blood rag coming out here blood rag issue 15 will be out this month and my next chat book which i don't even know what it will be i was gonna do one about coffee i was gonna do one about cigarettes and i might just do one about other stuff too i don't know i haven't decided yet it's all just gonna happen okay so type hard everybody and i will talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.